right, my dude. So before we go ahead and get on into this video, um, I'm talking about my Ranger School how-to tips and tricks and the 15 things that I think might make you more successful when going to Ranger School. Go ahead and pause the video real quick and go ahead and if you don't already, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and then go ahead and hit that bell icon to stay up to date with the most recent video content that I'm be pushing out to you guys. What is up my dudes? It is BB Warrior 13 coming at you with a video today. So today I'm going to be talking about Ranger School and the stuff I brought to the schoolhouse that I thought made me a little bit more successful slash took a little ease off of my mind whenever I was going through the actual schoolhouse. Obviously physical fitness, mental resiliency is going to be taking a huge part into you guys preparing for Ranger School. So getting out there rucking and running and all that stuff. I'll post some links to some workout 12 week programs that I think are successful to helping you prepare for ranger school or any kind of selection process. So let's go ahead and dive on to this video. All right. So the very first thing that I thought would be, was very beneficial to myself while in ranger school was actually having a multi-tool. So this is the Gerber diesel. I carried this throughout the entire ranger school and handy for untying um, tie downs, knots, whenever they're wet, and the 550 cord is just, and your fingers are all jacked up and you can't really get the knots to untie. Um, it's got extra knives, so just in case your pocket knife breaks, you can cutting items or just opening anything up if you need to, and obviously the pliers are pretty handy. Um, just make sure you tie it down and secure it to yourself so you don't lose it. And this is definitely an item that I would suggest bringing to Ranger School or a decent multi-tool of any kind. You can go to Walmart and pick one up, but this is the one I decided to bring with me because it was one I had. All right, next item. This is my terrain model kit or TMK. It's on the additional packing list. If you decide to bring it, um, I thought it was pretty handy to bring because during Darby and all the other phases of ranger school you're going to be doing op order have an extra be an extra guy that has a terrain model kit um, to help out during planning or any of that kind of stuff and it's small enough to put inside your rucksack inside a butt pack and then you can keep it all nice in a just a three dollar uh, pencil case from walmart is actually where i picked this guy up from so you can take this thing and then pass it off between you guys and your squad and your platoon whenever you get in the mountains in Florida. And it will make you guys successful in the planning process if you keep all of your items organized and in a um, nice little easy packable container like this pencil case. Um, so definitely suggest in bringing a terrain model kit. Obviously, if you're a lieutenant, you probably already have one. So definitely suggest on bringing a uh, terrain model kit. All right, the next item. Hand sanitizer. Hand sanitizer is very helpful for a lot of things. It's good for sanitizing your maps, ensuring that you don't get a no-go on your patrols because you have sensitive information on your maps. It's good for wiping down any kind of dry erase markers or any kind of that kind of stuff that you might have, map markers. And it's also good just to make sure that you stay clean throughout the school, making sure you're putting hand sanitizer on yourself and on your hands, especially before you eat because you'll get smart cuts and they'll get infected and you just don't want to have that kind of stuff going on. All right, so the next thing, insoles. These are just some Dr. Scholl um, heavy duty, hard working, I think that's what they're called, insoles. Um, I would definitely suggest bringing a pair, bringing however extra you're allowed to bring now of insoles to be able to throw into your boots, um, just to be able to change them out whenever they get wet, your insoles or your boots change your socks, change your insoles, put some baby powder on, and you're good to go. And then your, your insoles can dry in your bag, and then you can just keep swapping them out. Also, after a while of just walking around, your insoles are going to get flattened, especially carrying that rucksack. So just save your arches and save your feet throughout the endeavor and emotional experience that Ranger School is. I would definitely suggest bringing a pair of insoles, especially some kind of hard hardworking, heavy duty kind of insoles. You can pick these up at Walmart for like 12 bucks. All right, the next thing that I thought was pretty handy, pretty helpful during Ranger School was this little guy right here. This is the Sunto Wrist Compass. 
Um, it's just a simple wrench wrist compass that you can slap on your wrist and then you can wear it like so. And then while you're traveling, instead of having your compass out, if you're the pace man or if you're a leader in during the patrol, during that phase of the operation, you can always know exactly where you're going. Um, cause it will point and tell you, Hey, I'm traveling 180 degrees or whatever, and making sure you're staying on the correct azimuth and pace count. So you don't get lost just in case our eyes decide to do a map check on you. You kind of have a rough general location of where you're at on the map. So you don't get a no go for that portion of the operation. So wrist compass, very helpful, very handy. It also has, I believe it's tritium inside the actual dial itself. So it will glow at night so you can see um, somewhat the actual face of the wrist compass to, for you to be able to see where you're going and traveling at night. Um, I would say this is uh, pretty handy. If you don't want to put it on your wrist, you can actually put it on your flick and just Velcro it through right there and then just attach it. And then you can have it on your flick and kind of know where you're going at all times. Um, I thought this thing's pretty handy. I obviously, I still use this to this day, uh, this wrist compass, and it's still on my kit and it's been used all over the world and it's still, still ticking. So the Sunto wrist compass, uh, you can pick this up. I think I picked this up at commandos prior to actually going to the school, or you can pick it up online. I think they are like $35 ish on Amazon. So maybe looking to get into something like this. All right, the next thing, simple Bic lighter, right? It comes in handy whenever you're doing tie downs of all your equipment, cutting 550 cord, burning the ends, ensuring that you have a lighter. Um, it's just something you have in the military, but all right, next thing, it's gonna be O'Keefe's Working Hand Hand Cream. Um, this stuff is a lifesaver, whether you're putting it on your chafed thighs, you're putting it on your hands that are cracked from the cold X, Y, and Z. This stuff right here is the money. Obviously this can has been through hell and back. This actually was the can that I had in my hygiene kit when I was throughout the schoolhouse and it's still ticking. I would definitely suggest, I know, I believe hand cream or some kind of ointment is on the packing list. I still know that O'Keefe's is probably approved still as one of the approved items to bring. But if you see O'Keefe's, um, you can pick it up at Walmart or Commandos, Ranger Joe's, any of that kind of tactical outfitting stores before you go to the schoolhouse. O'Keefe's ha working hands in these uh, hard pucks. They won't get crushed or squeezed all over in your stuff going through different phases and bag dumps. So definitely look into these kind of puck styles and then get the working hands. So O'Keefe's Working Hand Hand Cream. This one's a little different, right? Not a lot of people think about bringing this item to the schoolhouse because, you know, they obviously think that they don't really think about it. But suspenders, that's what these guys are right here, suspenders. They come in handy after you're on the Darby diet or the Ranger diet for any amount of time. If you're there for 62 days or 299 days or however long you're there to earn your tab, having a set of suspenders to be able to keep your pants up after you, you know, are malnourished and tired or whatever. It's a extra piece of equipment and kit that, you know, ensures that your pants don't fall down and other stuff like that and kind of makes you feel a little bit better about yourself. Also, uh, you know, just helps in general. Um, so I thought that having a set of suspenders on the list here of pieces of equipment to bring uh, is definitely handy. Um, these are the Rothko suspenders or something like that. You can check them out. They have them in all like the tactical stores, especially down in Fort Bedding, or you can just look up uh, Rothko suspenders. Um, and the reason why I got these is because they have the uh, pass plastic clips here on the front, the plastic Factus Tech buckles. Um, these, this set is a little bit more expensive than some of the other ones, but there are no metal pieces or hardware that could possibly dig into my back or into my sides or any of that kind of stuff. So it's all just this elastic webbing. So it, it was very comfortable wearing these in the schoolhouse. Um, so nothing was actually digging into me or causing me pain, but they did keep my pants up. So that was why I decided to put on suspenders onto my list of stuff to bring 
to ranger school if it's still on the approved package. All right, next thing I want to talk about is a headlamp. Um, obviously, I'd bring extra. Um, maybe go to Walmart, get a cheapo one, and then go ahead and bring your nice one if you decide to do so. Make sure it obviously has a red light feature and then a white light feature um, for any kind of scenario where you do need a white light. And then I have the Petzl Tekka, Tika, Takeda. I don't know how to actually pronounce it. I'll post links to all the stuff down in the description for you guys. Um, but this headlamp has gone through hell and back. One tip that I would suggest with all your pieces of equipment, just put a little small strip. You see this small strip of illumination tape, right? So prior to going to the schoolhouse, just go ahead and prep all your equipment and just put small pieces of loom tape on it. And I'll show you, I have a couple other pieces of equipment that have loom tape on it, but this headlamp will help you find it while you're actually looking for it in a low light environment. All right, next thing. Obviously, this is a little excessive, but chem lights. They are very handy in ranger school because during the resupplies that they do during the schoolhouse, um, if you're the platoon sergeant, you put in a resupply for the following day. You say, hey, we need these X number of chem lights and other stuff like that, but they never give you the stuff that you need. So bring in some extra ones, IRs, uh, blues, all that kind of stuff to ranger school can really help out, especially setting up gun positions at night, setting up um, assault lanes, setting up, doing buzz saws, all that kind of stuff for signalings and markings. All right, and the next thing. It's going to be map markers and eraser pens. These are very handy when writing on laminated maps and or other pieces of equipment that are laminated. Yeah, super fine is what I prefer. Map markers, and then you can get them just a small little four pack. You can keep these in your um, shoulder pocket or in a, in a rifle mag pouch on your flick or whatever. And then just keeping a piece of loom tape on it so you can find it at night is always super helpful. I put this rubber van on the side so that I could take a map mark or a racer marker and then just stays like that so it keeps it nice and secure. Next thing is going to be pocket size notebooks. These pocket size right in the reins. And then like I was talking about earlier, adding illumination tape on the front of your notebook. So in a nighttime scenario or super early in the morning, if you got an early warno, you can go ahead and write down um, what information is going on on the actual illumination paper with your map marker and then write that information down and then so you have it in the morning or some kind of sleepy ranger card or any of that kind of stuff. You can write all this information down and then place it and then you can have it right there readily available just in case you got quizzed by an RI or any of that kind of stuff. You have this information of routes, um, your left and right limits, all that kind of stuff, where the AT firing point is, where the Claymore is in the patrol base, all that kind of stuff. You can write all that information down on here and then be prepared to make your buddy possibly get his go or her go during their phase of the operation. So prepping and putting some loom tape on the front is definitely a helpful tip. All right, next thing. I know wool socks are still on the packing list. I went and bought darn tough socks for Ranger School just because I've heard so many great things about them. And I will say they are worth every cent in gold in Ranger School because of the moisture wicking and the cushion that they actually have in them. Um, don't bring your green socks because your green army issued socks, I know they're what you're issued or whatever, but they're pieces of crap. And your feet are obviously what brings you, takes you around in ranger school. So if your feet aren't taken care of, then it's going to be a rough time for you. I would definitely suggest bringing a pair or bringing some darn tough socks or possibly even some Fox rivers. You can go either way. Darn toughs are, I believe a little bit more expensive than the Fox rivers, but darn toughs, I believe are worth their weight in gold. So go ahead and look out, check out the darn tough um, socks. And you know, if you buy one sock, 
one pair of socks every week before you go, you'll end up having the 15 pairs or however many you need before you actually go to the schoolhouse. All right, and two, three items here actually on the table that I'd like to talk about. First are the Ziploc baggies. Um, I believe, if I remember correctly, you're allowed to bring small Ziploc baggies. I would suggest doing that so you can keep your stuff organized in your bag. Um, and then labeling them with your name and other stuff like that. So Ziploc baggies are on the optional packing list and it's a good way to keep your stuff waterproofed. So you can put a pair of socks and whatever in a Ziploc bag and put it in your rucksack on the top. So you always have a nice dry pair of socks to change into and just keep swapping those out as you go through the uh, field process. But the other two items inside the bag are 100 mile an hour tape and illumination tape. Uh, illumination tape is always helpful to have, um, whether you're cutting out strips to put on cat eyes or you're putting, uh, making sleepy ranger cards. So loom tape, super helpful, super handy. Definitely highly recommend bringing some. And then 100 mile an hour tape, always good to have 100 mile an hour tape. Obviously you can patch holes in your uniforms. You can secure things with it. You can tape down your straps. 100 mile an hour tape, illumination tape, Ziploc bags. Um, definitely things I'd recommend bringing to ranger school to make uh, your life just a little bit easier. And all right, next item I'd like to talk about is a map case. Again, putting a little piece of loom tape on there so you can find it and then putting your name on it as well is also super handy. Ranger school during at least land nav, uh, while I went, it poured and pissed down rain. So keeping your map dry because they just give you a paper map, keeping your map dry, keeping your protractor and all this other stuff together in a small consolidated space, super helpful, super handy. So you don't lose any sensitive items while you're actually out there on the land nav course. So map case, highly recommend bringing one. Next item I'd like to talk about are boots. So boots I brought to Ranger School, I brought a pair of Nike SFBs, which are no longer with, a, with me because they died in Ranger School. But these Garmont T8s are the best pair of boots, in my personal opinion, that anyone could possibly go out and buy today. Um, super comfortable, super tough, can go through anything. Obviously they don't dry as fast as the Nikes. I brought the Nikes specifically for Florida, going through the swamp movements. But these boots, I wore them through the swamps as well. As you also, inside the tongue, go ahead and write your name. Because during the layout, people's boots and shit are just going everywhere. So you can go ahead, write your name on the inside of the uh, tongue with Sharpie so that you know that they're your boots whenever your bags get dumped. Um, so, they'll, so no one steals your shit. All right, and the final thing that I think got me through Ranger School would be letter writing material. So I recycled Darby Face. So I had to stay there an extra month and graduated after 91, 92 days or whatever it was. If it wasn't for having these letter writing materials and staying in touch with the outside world and writing my now wife, and my family um it just it was kind of a nice release from the day of just about writing about anything and everything about where i want to go after i graduate what i want to eat places i want to travel to or just talking about my day and how i just want to graduate that school and never want to ever go back but letter writing material Super helpful if you do end up recycling a phase. Hopefully that doesn't happen to you if you guys are watching this video. But again, I think it was always good to have just bring a couple extra letters or just bring some envelopes and then you'll have your notebook so you can write on, um, write in the rain paper, just bring some paper and throw it in here just in case you do end up recycling or whatever. You can you know write some letters and help your mind throughout the process and uh, you know, kind of have that nice release from just being in ranger school and thinking about ranger school. You can just write your thoughts down on a piece of paper, which I thought was super helpful for me. So letter writing material, super helpful, definitely for your mental health while going through the schoolhouse. All right, my dudes. So this has been my how to ranger school 
uh, preparation video slash tips and tricks to get you ready for what may lie ahead you before you earn your black and gold. Thank you guys so much for checking out the video. Hopefully this video has been helpful to you guys. If you're not already, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel and go ahead that bell icon. Go ahead and follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and on Twitter at BBWarrior13. And thank you guys so much for checking out this video. Thanks and have a great day.